I thought having chemotherapy, I'm going to be bed bound. I'm not going to be able to walk around and do things. I was a nervous wreck when they first told me to the point I was crying my eyes out. I was terrified. I thought like my life was going to be all vomiting. You know, all of those things you see in movies, really. When you arrive on a unit and you see six people in chairs with bags having infusions, a little bit daunting, but they're so good at what they do that, you know, it soon goes away, soon goes away. Sometimes people come with preconceived ideas. The treatments that we have now, the supportive medications, the anti-sickness tablets are so much better. I mean, I was fearful of it to start with because you know, you know people who, who've been through it. Some of them you know, have, have sort of horror stories to tell, um, which you should discount because it, it, it's not at all horrific when it comes to it. If you're coming in for the first time to the haematology daycare unit here, you would be assigned to a chair and, and a nurse. So the nurse would come along and introduce herself, explain what's going to happen. Then we would start the, the regime. You would be monitored throughout the day very carefully. You're very welcome to bring um, a friend, family member to sit with you all day. You can bring in books, magazines and uh, music to listen to. Usually on your first visit as well, the pharmacist would come and speak to you and talk to you about any medications you'll be on. The consultants are available, but generally this is a nurse-led service. Having a specialist cancer nurse that's available to talk to, well, it's, it's priceless because the, the amount of knowledge that she acquires with everybody, she can tell you straight away what's happening with your, your particular situation. There are tablets and, you know, potions for everything. Stop you from getting infection, we give you things to stop you from being sick. Those pills are magical. They do something, they make you forget that you're even taking chemotherapy. I'm a patient that is quite nosy. I like to know what's going on. What are you giving me now? What's this? How am I going to feel? They will tell you. Make a list of all the questions. That is a very good uh, thing to do because whenever a patient meets the doctor, they have so many questions in their mind. They're so overwhelmed. They say, I should have asked this. I should have said that. I didn't do this. I said, don't worry. You just reassure them that you can't get all the answers in one day. Everyone is very individual and everyone will have very different experiences of having chemotherapy in even having the same regime. Two people will not respond in the same way. I thought it's normal for it to sting, so I would just ignore it, you know, and just finish off the session. But they would see me and they would come running, are you okay? Why are you doing this? I'm like, it's just stinging, it's okay. They're like, no, you're not, it's not supposed to sting. You should have it nicely and easily, so they would adjust it. I've been in situations where I've felt really rough. In order to get the quickest result and the easiest result would be to ring the day unit and speak to Leslie because she, she knows what's going on. Every single time I felt something wrong, I just call them it, it, as if they're my friends, you know, as if they're from the rest of my family. <laughs> Hello, help. And they were always available. A lot of people have said, you know, we just didn't want to bother you. But actually, I want you to bother me. That is what we're here for. That is our job. Here, after about two and a half months, finally went. I came back really quick, very, very quickly, within two months. Slightly different colour, but pretty good. In fact, I had my first haircut at the weekend. We can't give you anything for hair loss, but we reassure you to say that your hair will grow back in abundance and thick as well and very soft. Nowadays, because a lot of our patients are younger, um, it is the things like, can I work? People can work, and actually what you'd encourage people to do is to try and maintain normality as much as possible. There are classes here that, that helps the patient to put makeup on, in the exercise class, living with cancer, diet, what to eat. We have a counsellor here on site. We do a lot of counselling as well. That's how we are, you know, we, like, we give a one-to-one -one advice. One day a lady came to me, she was the wife of a patient, and she said to me, you've been one of us, haven't you? And I said, yes, good, now we've got somebody of our own that understands. And they do talk to me, patients talk to me, their relatives talk to me. 
because we try very hard to make it a happy place. I'm amazed, to be honest, that the nurses remember my name from one month to another. You know, it's, it's one thing to remember Peter's name, but to remember my name as well, I think, is quite uh, amazing and just shows how dedicated they are. The new unit is amazing. We've always felt that we provide a very high quality of care, but this has really enhanced the, the, the sort of the patient experience because you can't help but feel good to walk into here. It's, it's, it's a really special place. I, I think the, it's in the world of the lot of them. They're really good. I really enjoy coming here. And I shouldn't enjoy coming here, but I do. <laughs> they are so kind. Every single nurse here, the knowledge that there is somebody there who, who, is, who cares and who's with you all the way. I know all of the staff by first names. They come in, we have a laugh. You know, they make it seem like it's more like a home. I know people are frightened when they come in. They're very nervous. They don't know what to expect. But I promise you, you're working with a team of professionals. They really are. I know from the experience. And you're going to be absolutely fine. If you have any problems after the chemo, you can contact us. The line is open here. There's an open door always here. A positive side of, of haematology is that, in general, many of our patients uh, tolerate and cope with the chemotherapy extremely well and in many cases have a good outcome at the end of their treatment.